Hey guys, EST here, and as you can see, we've got some more toys to play with. You know I love the gear reviews. Well, this one's pretty simple. You want to start a fire, okay, we've got, you know, this lighter, but it's going to run out of fuel eventually. You can get a lot of mileage out of it, but it's going to run out of fuel. Then you've got this style, which is arguably worse. It's a jet lighter. You can start absolutely anything on fire with this. I mean, this thing's nutty on heat output. However, it goes through butane even quicker. So these are wonderful, and just because I got one at a really good price, I have 25 of these in a brick sealed. Now you've probably seen my ferro rod video where you strike this with, uh, you know, an average knife and create some sparks. Ooh, that was not bad. Jeez, I should have used a bigger knife in that video. So these are lovely, but you're going to thin it out after a while. You can get a pretty thick one, but even these don't last forever. But this right here has a USB port on it. What a strange lighter. Let's pop that open. It's a two-terminal uh, electric plasma lighter, I believe is what they call it. I'm not sure if that between the two terminals is actually plasma, but uh, it's a windproof lighter, you know, however you want to search it online if you're interested. But hey, it's got a lithium battery, so it's not going to last forever, but you can recharge that on solar, and it doesn't take much. I could probably hold that button down for... I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour and barely deplete the battery. So if there was, I don't know, a thousand charge cycle battery in here, you could get some mileage out of this with just a basic little like two watt solar charger, which I also have. But can this actually light a real fire? Let's find out. So I've got some fire starting materials here and we have three different lighters. So we've got uh, the wimpy little one that's a couple years old. We've got the uh, much more expensive crossing one. You can see that's a little different there, a little, little X. Nice angle there. Uh, way bigger battery, probably an 18615 there. And then we've got the brand new, just purchased last week. Oh yes, Explorer. Look at this, the USB port's right about there. And uh, oh man, this thing, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it looks like it's lighting the air on fire. Like this, this thing is extremely high output. The battery in it is pathetic, but you only need to I'll probably have it going for a little bit. So let's take the weakest one and see if it'll light a Kleenex on fire. Just a basic Kleenex. I can't exactly find these in nature, but well, let's see if it works. Oh, there we go. Wow. That was not exactly difficult. Okay. These things are just giant fire hazards pretty much. Let's see if it'll do a paper towel. And this is a pretty thick bounty one. So um, I know that these can allegedly light cigarettes. So, you know, how hard could it be, right? Oh, wow. Oop. Fold it away a little quick, but yeah. Looks like it does, does have the power. Now I did a quick test with these out in nature one time and uh, we were in a hurry to build the fire, but let's just say I wasn't exactly impressed. But here is an average super dry year old leaf because uh, spring's coming here and this was under the snow for a while. Let's see if it'll light this. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, it didn't stay lit. Uh, this isn't the, the nicest leaf. Oh, this makes such a, there we go, terrible noise. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'll try to maybe even remove it in editing, but it's a really obnoxious high-pitched, like 20 kilohertz uh, noise coming out of this. Your dog can probably hear it. I don't know why I can. But okay, let's say you're in a pine forest and there's no leaves. Well, you'd probably get some kind of wood shavings or some kind of dry grass. This is what I think won't light on fire. I don't know. I just have a feeling. Although I thought actually this would light the leaves. So maybe I just had it uh, had a bad model or something. I don't know. Let's just jam it all in there. Here we go. Oh, I saw a little something. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I'm actually impressed. Shoot, I got that for 110 bucks. Boy, I was going to get out the petroleum jelly and the cotton balls and like give this the best possible shot because honestly, I didn't even think it would light uh, this on fire. But hey, if I could light a cigarette, I mean, that's basically compressed dried leaves and paper. Well, this was an open gap style. I guess let's try this one, which I deem to be more powerful because it is. Well, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, oh, easily. Jeez, and like I said, I mean, that was maybe three seconds of holding the button down. You could probably start a hundred fires with one charge. You wouldn't even need solar, <laughs> you know? Now lithium batteries don't store very well, but this lighter is about 10 years old. So yeah, pretty impressive. Also, I left it about 50% charge climate controlled it's fine fired right up so yeah pretty impressive this one's like 30 bucks so i wouldn't spend that much 
Oh, wow. I remember from kind of just messing around with these with like fireworks and stuff and trying to do like windproof firework lighting. You can get the tips kind of dirty and full of carbon. So some ability to basically clean that would be nice. But other than that, I don't see a weakness to these other than, you know, dropping them, getting them wet. Eh, yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a, th this weighs a lot. And I know there's a big round battery in there. You can see by the bottom, it probably has one. I don't know. I don't know. All right. I, I got to try the new one. This thing just screams power. I'm not endorsing or sponsored by this. It was the cheapest one on eBay, to be honest. But uh, that's waterproof-ish. It's like some basic rubber. It's got like a latching top here. You can kind of close it. It's not bad. I like it. I, I think it's kind of neat. All right. Pop it open. Let's see what this can light. And this is a, a double arc gap style. So this should be able to light anything. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Jeez, that just like welded a hole in it. Okay, I know it's going to work. I just don't want to burn my hand. There we go. Well, you guys saw the flames. If I really was trying to start something, I would do it. Well, let's see if it'll do the grass. Why not? I'm just having fun at this point. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, that just went. Jeez. <laughs> okay, now I'm curious. Now I'm actually curious. Is this better than the ferro rod? This video is going a completely different direction. I thought these would fail horribly or have some sort of downside. All right, here we go. Whoa. Oh my gosh, that was, wow. This is a Swedish steel carving knife with a thick blade and a wooden handle. Yeah, you wanna start a fire, this is how you do it. I think I should probably get closer. Wow. I mean, the energy of these coming off of here, but boy, I'm just getting nothing off these leaves. You wouldn't normally use leaves, you would use like the thinnest, lightest thing you can get, but uh, this should work. I mean, geez, whoops. I don't want to ruin my knife putting it into the metal here, so I'm still staying a little, whoops, farther away. Wow, yeah, and you can see I'm not very good at this. Oh boy, the, the skill level required for one of these versus even one of these, and plus a, a big blade moving. Yeah, not the safest thing in the world, just saying. I think I know what I prefer. And I prefer to have one of each, you know, just saying. But uh, I know which one I would reach for first. Oh my gosh. Getting a little pyrotechnic showing here, getting a little fumy. Still nothing. Well, I've seen people who are provably, geez, better than me. And they would have had this lip on them, but... It's, it's too flat. I'll be right back. Okay. If that bundle of fire hazard doesn't light. Oh, come on. There it is. Okay, finally landed one. It's really my aim that was the problem. Um, but yeah, that, that was white hot coming off of here and they both work and what was that within a minute? Oh, I'm gonna, gonna kill my camera again. All right. We'll just, we'll just film the, the outro like this then. But I would dare say that with the thermal output and the pinpoint, uh, abilities of these lighters, I would have one because they're light, they're small and you can just waterproof them by just sealing them inside of a a little plastic bag or whatever. And then, like I said, you got a basic little one to two watt solar. You can charge it. No problem. Let's little, little USB output solar device. They're like 15, 20 bucks. And it looks like almost any style works. So I'd, I'd get the waterproofed ones that are lighter. Cause you know, lighter is less battery, but it's also lighter to carry. Yeah. I, I would have both, but I would definitely not neglect getting an electric plasma arc lighter, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, wow. Pleasantly surprised at this. Thanks for watching everybody. And I'll see you guys next time.